Kakuso Kopradali, Kakuli, Kakili, Kakulu, Kakulu, Improkosa, Kapaladoza. Father, we thank you. Glory be to your name. You are the most high God, excellent Jehovah, mighty one, ah, wonderful, faithful, precious, the Alpha and the Omega. Ah, yes, Lord, you alone enthroned between the cherubims. You alone created the heavens and the earth. You alone is called Jehovah El Shaddai. You alone is called Jehovah Shama. You alone is called Jehovah Elohim. You alone is worthy to be praised. You alone, you are the good shepherd. You alone, you are the bread of life. You alone, you are the way maker. Father, we adore you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Blessed be your name. Holy Spirit, we magnify you. Holy Ghost, we love you. We adore you, Lord Jesus. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done, Lord, in your word today, in your message in our life. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today's word. We glorify no one but Jesus. I submit myself to the holy hands, Holy Ghost. Use me to minister the word which we exhort no one but Jesus. Let Jesus be seen, let Jesus be heard, and let the glory go back to God the Father. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for your word. And I ask also, may you bless the viewers of this message. Enlighten the eyes of the understanding that they may understand the mystery of the engrafted word, which is thy scripture, and the word can never be broken. But your word is here and amen. Thank you, Father, for this prayer. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want to welcome you. This is uh, Mount Zion Fresh Fire International Ministry. Thank you for watching our uh, video. Thank you for watching, watching this message. I bless God for your life. And your life will never remain the same. I want to encourage you. That may you continue to uh, follow us on YouTube. And follow us on our Facebook live. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I want to ask you, please, uh, can you help us share your testimony? Let us know the impact that our messages, our teachings have done in your life and to the glory of God. You can get to us on Facebook, on our Facebook page. Drop your message there. Drop your testimonies there. And so that it may encourage some other person. And we all will glorify God. Let us know the extent at which our messages has been blessing you have been blessing you if our messages uh the, the messages the teachings the prayer sessions if they have been of blessings to you they have been blessing your life please let us know drop your word or drop a word uh, on, on on our facebook page hallelujah that we may glorify god together Kali Pasuta. glory be to god hallelujah today i'm excited today why because jesus christ is still alive because he live i can live because he lives, I can live and face tomorrow. So I'm excited because of Jesus Christ is alive. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I hope and I know you are also excited for the word today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please come with me to the book of John chapter 1. Hallelujah. I know you'll be blessed by the message today. I know the message today will bless you. Please focus. Stay tuned. John chapter 1. Hallelujah. John chapter 1 verse number 4 and verse number 5. John 1 verse 4 and number 5, I read from the NIV version. John chapter 1 verse 4 and verse 5, I read. Verse 4 says, John chapter 1 verse number 4 says, In him was life. In him was life. And that life was the light of men and the light was the life of men verse 5 verse 5 says the light shines in darkness and darkness comprehended it not or darkness understood it not or the light shines in darkness but darkness has not understood it hallelujah i am teaching this day on i need light i need light I need light. You need light. So we need light. So the subject today is, I need light. Hallelujah. So friends, from the place we read from in John chapter 1, verse number 4 and 5, we come to understand that life is very important in, uh, 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 in our life and also in creation. 
we come to understand that without light there was no creation as in genesis chapter 1 verse number 3 the scripture says in verse 1 when god created the heavens and the earth genesis 1 1 now when you go to verse 2 and you go down to verse number 3 which is i want to catch something from there now verse 3 says and god said let there be light genesis 1 3 and god said let there be light which means that light was there but light was not made manifest because light can be in a person but it's not manifesting yet light can be in a place and it's not manifesting yet pastor what are you talking let me explain all right come with me to an example and it's an example now if you look at if you enter a house you understand with me are you believe with me that we have electricity in our houses and in our houses they are being powered by maybe generator or uh let's say electricity entirely now inside the rooms we have what we call bulbs it can be the round bulb it can be the long bulbs so these bulbs they actually uh they emit light they emit the light from the power source so they make the place to become bright so you can agree with me that if i enter a room it is not automatic that the light is already on so we have to that's why we have the switch button switch on and switch off button on our walls now when i enter my living room example when i come out i go out i come back and I enter my living room and it is that of course i wasn't at home so what i have to do is i cannot just enter my living room and start operating my normal daily activities it doesn't work like that because i will not see where the sofa is I will not see where the chairs are. I will not see where the table is. So I might end up hitting my leg because I am walking in darkness. Even though the light is there, even though the bulb is there, even though I have electricity, but the light is not shining because I have not switched on the button. I came to tell somebody, it is time for you to switch on the light in your life. Hallelujah. Please touch somebody and say, neighbor, switch on the light in your life. One more time, tell yourself, I have to switch on the light in my life. So we have the bulbs in our life, in, in our heart, in our houses. We have the bulbs, we have the lamps. Unless when you switch it on, it will not come on. You can see me talking to you now because the lights are all on. Now, assuming I switch off the lights, you won't be able to see me. Which means that I go back to Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. Which means that light can be present, but you must you must switch it on in order for it to manifest light was present but unless when god switched it on god switched the light on by saying let there be light when god said let there be light god switched on the light and light appeared and the bible said darkness understood it not because darkness cannot comprehend light as a matter of fact darkness was made from light darkness was made from light because remember the bible said in the beginning was the word john chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Nothing was made that was made without him. But everything was made through him and by him. So even darkness was made by Jesus and through him. So darkness cannot comprehend because darkness was made by light. So darkness cannot hold light. That's why the, that's why the scripture said that even in the grave Jesus is Lord because the grave could not hold him because the grave actually Jesus made the grave. The grave was made from Jesus because without Jesus nothing was made that was made. So they have no power over him. He is the author of it all. So let's come back to my subject. I need light. Hallelujah. So when God said, let there be light, God switched on the light in the world. And Jesus Christ appeared. Because Jesus must be invited in order for him to manifest. Jesus must be invited. And to invite Jesus, there must be a relationship. Because, with, because when relationship is already established, I can call Jesus. And Jesus will come. For he doesn't fail for we are the apple of god's eye hallelujah so we come to understand that the world was chaotic in genesis if you look at the first chapters of genesis the world was in chaos and was dark and was void i don't know who is listening to the message this evening i don't know who's going to listen to this message after this time onwards in one part of your life there might be darkness in your life it might have been void it might have been empty but I want to assure you that once you switch on the light today, 
that darkness in your finances will disappear. When you switch on the light today, darkness in your marriage will disappear. In your health, it will disappear. In your career, it will disappear. Some of you, you have not had that job because darkness covered you. But in the mighty name of Jesus, as you switch on the light today, darkness will disappear and you'll be located for that job. If you are the one, shout, I hear you. Hallelujah. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we understand that in the beginning, uh, God had to invite light before, before God began creation. After light came forth, then creation began. Which suggests to me that we can't do anything without light. Pastor, why do you say that? Yes, even in our physical light. That's why God separated the lights. He made the big light called the sun to rule over the day. And the small light called the moon to rule over the night. So why did God provide light in the day and also at night? Why? Because he understands that we need light all the day. So around the clock, we have two lights. We have the greater light called the sun along the day. And we have the smaller light called the moon at night. And also we have lights in our houses. Which means that we need light constantly in, uh, in order for our lives to be illuminated. I'm talking now on the physical realm. I'm coming to the spiritual realm of it. So before God began to create, he needed light as well. So you got to switch on the light in your life. Hallelujah. Please touch yourself and say, I need light. One more time, say, I need light. So you may understand that the life, life is actually a gift which is from the life of God. Now, uh, what is the significance of light, Pastor? Light signifies holiness. Light signifies knowledge, goodness, wisdom, grace. Light represents God's revelation. So I need God's revelation. Because as a matter of fact, there are some things in your life that will not work unless you have revelations about what to go and how to go about them. Because you have a challenge in a particular dimension which you need a way out. People have, conspired, people, have, people have conspired against you. You need a way out of escape. And when you have a revelation, revelation gives you light and direction. For revelation is a person and that's the Holy Ghost. I need light. Hallelujah. So uh, uh, the opposite of light is darkness. Darkness signifies wickedness, sin, evil, darkness. Glory be to God. So, light is one of the most universal and fundamental uh, symbols we do have. Like I explained, light is very important. Even when we are driving at night, we need headlamps. The flashlight, the headlamp, we need them. Travigators, they are all lights. They are very important. Pastor, are you serious? Yes, even the travigators. If your travigators are not on, police will find you. Because travigator has to indicate where I'm going. If I'm going right or I'm going left. For the car behind me to know what, which direction I'm taking in order to slow down. If not, they might hit you from behind. And which is, it can might cause a fatal accident. So travigators are very important, as small as they are. And they are also part of light. So they are symbol. Uh, they are very important. Hallelujah. So uh, light is a part of essence, the essence of God. I can say like God also, God is light. In Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse number 7, it says, Truly the light is sweet. Truly the light is sweet. So light now refers to a person with Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, In him was life, and that life was the light of men. In him, him that signifies the person of Christ Jesus. In Jesus was life. And the life now was the light of men. So when you have life, you have light. When you have life, you have light. But like I said, you can have life and you can have light, but the light is not manifesting. To, for me to shock you, in Genesis chapter, Genesis, in the beginning chapter 1, chapter 2, there was light, but light was not manifesting. Light was present, but light was not manifesting. So you can have light, but it is not manifesting. You can have light in your house, but your house is in darkness because you have not switched it on put on the light in your life switch it on it is time for you to know you need light so in proverbs chapter 15 verse 30 it talks about light being a uh, beauty and its radiance beauty makes us beauty beauty it radiates the beauty of everything without light things will not look well that's why light, light was needed in creation 
Uh, like I said in John chapter 8, let's go to John chapter 8, verse number 12. John 8, 12 says, I am the light of the world. Jesus Christ, like I said, the light, the light I'm talking about is a person called Jesus Christ. And John 8, 12 says, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. So, so Jesus is the one illuminating the world. He's the one that created the world and has the power to overhaul everything therein. In Romans chapter 13, verse 12 and verse number 14, it says, Walk in the light as God is light. Walk in the light as God is light. You walk in the light as God is light. Glory be to God. So, uh, what are some of the few importance of light? What are some of the few, few importance of light? Now, the first thing is, light brings illumination. Lights bring illumination, and we all need to be enlightened. Without enlightenment, they can waylay you. Without enlightenment, you, you can be defrauded. You need to be enlightened. And enlightenment comes by knowledge. Hosea 4, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So enlightenment, knowledge brings enlightenment. Knowledge brings enlightenment. Which is God's revelation as per a particular thing. Because God is nothing but a revelator. God reveals. He, he, God is a revelator. He reveals the mysteries of things which are happen, which will happen, and which are happening now. So God is a revelator. So it brings, number one, I said, the importance of light. It brings illumination. Things are made beautiful because of the light, both day and night. And even I'm talking to you, you can see me because of light. So it brings illumination. Illumination of your mind. Illumination of your soul. Illumination entirely. So the absence of uh, light is darkness. So, darkness is lack of illumination. In this end time or in this era of wickedness, you need illumination. Because where light shines, darkness will not comprehend. When you carry the light of God, it means your light is at peace with God. When you carry the light of God, it means you have a relationship with Jesus. And the Bible says, if a man's ways pleases the Lord, even the man's enemies will be what at peace with you. So when you carry light, the light of God, even your enemies will be at peace with you. When you carry the light of God, your enemies will bless you. When you carry the light of God, things happen. Favor will locate you because you carry the light. Because therefore your light is there. Let your light so shine before men that they might see and give glory to God. It is time for your light to begin to shine and for men to see and give glory to God. Shake yourself and say, neighbor. Touch someone and say, neighbor, you need the light. And tell yourself, I also, I need the light. I'm teaching on, I need light. Hallelujah. So the first thing, uh, the first importance of light is illumination. Like I explained before, um, uh, most people, uh, uh, some people are walking in darkness. They know not. They know not. They walk anyhow. The foundations are shaken. I have said, ye are God. But they know not. Why? Because they are living in darkness. Because if you are illuminated, you will understand that you are a son of God. And sons, not just son, but you are a son of God. Which means you are supposed to manifest in the supernatural. And this is because of, this, is, this comes by knowledge of the scripture. And it comes by knowledge and by revelation. And also, that is illumination. You must be illumined. You must be enlightened to understand that you are a son of God. You carry the Holy Ghost. Job says, I am not inferior. I carry the light of God. I am not inferior to anybody. Hallelujah. So it brings illumination in our lives. When there's illumination, you see your way out. So to see, to see your vision, you need illumination. Your vision, your purpose in life, your divine assignment, your place of assignment. Now remember, this month of August is the eighth month where, I, where it is eight represents a new beginning. And I said this morning, new things shall spring forth in our lives. We shall be singing new songs. Some people are already singing their own new songs. Some are already sharing their own testimony. The next in line is you to share your testimony. If you believe it, shout, I hear you. And uh, if you believe it, shout a better amen. I said you are the next in line to share your testimony. You didn't hear me. You are the next in line to share your testimony. Things might not, things might not have been working, but by the power of the Holy Ghost, you shall share your testimony sooner. You shall say your testimony. We speak in the name of Jesus. Your testimony must also be heard. Your testimony will be heard. Men will come to celebrate with you. If you believe in shout hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Illumination. Hallelujah. For you to see your purpose and also to see your breakthroughs. Like I said, this month of August, some of you will be entering your place of breakthroughs. 
You must enter by force by fire, and that is by illumination. You must see your way into your into your breakthrough. May you begin to see in the name of Jesus. May you begin to see your place, your assignment. May you begin to see that dream job for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So it brings illumination because you cannot get the breakthrough without being without being enlightened. You must be enlightened and to see your breakthrough and to touch them and to carry them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you shall touch your breakthrough. You shall carry them and you shall testify because of illumination. The light of God will shine around you in Jesus' name I pray. So the first thing, uh, the, the one of the importance of light is it brings illumination to our lives. Secondly, it brings uh, direction. This month of August, we need to be enlightened about many things because most of us, we need, uh, I can say, if not all of us, we need a 24-hour miracle. For God to come to our aid. We have been pressed close to the wall until we are almost giving up. And it is time where if you understand the revelation by revelation, the meaning of light, the light of God will say person. And call on to him in the days of trouble. He will answer you. He will direct you. So this month of August, which is our eighth month, the month of new beginning, which is the, our month with wait upon the Lord. As you begin wait upon the Lord, light will spring forth in your life, around you. Let there be light in Jesus' name, I pray. Every area of, uh, of your life, let there be light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, uh, Psalms 119 verse 106 uh, says, uh, Your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. Can you see? Your, your word, Psalms 119 verse 105 it says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Light to my path. Light unto my path. Because some of us, we need direction. Yes, direction is important. But light needs to shine for you to see where you are going to. For you to get to your destination. Because if there is no light, you will be delayed at the bus stop. But when there is illumination, you cannot be delayed at the bus stop. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree, let there be light to direct you. Let the light of God shine unto your path. The path to your breakthrough. The path to your destiny. The path to your assignment. If you believe it, shout a bigger hallelujah to Jesus. So it brings also a direction, not just illumination, it also directs. For Jesus Christ is our good shepherd. The light, God is light. And that light is Jesus Christ. And he is the good shepherd. And the shepherd directs us. Which means that when I follow the shepherd, I am being directed according to his will and purpose. If, we, if Jesus can, if most of us can let Jesus direct us. Oh, we, we, we're going to hit our testimonies. Share our testimony. If Jesus Christ is your shepherd. Hallelujah. And that is again, it comes by what? And it light. So like there, I'm talking about the person called Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. So it brings direction and light onto my path. Thirdly, it, it does what? Light attacks darkness. Please let me explain this. Light attracts, sorry, light attracts Light brings illumination, number one. Light brings, uh, it shows direction, and light also attract. Now, you believe with me that one, uh, there are some seasons where we have these uh, insects, like in the form of flies. When you switch on the light, they follow the light. Like praying mantis is one of the insects that follows light, praying mantis. Moth, the moth follows light. When you switch on the light, moth, they follow the light. So means light attracts even insect. Light attracts. So when you carry the light of God, you attract favor. You didn't hear me. When you carry the light of God, you attract favor. Nobody favors anyone who is in darkness. And some of you are not in favor because darkness is around you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I break the whole of darkness over your life. Let there be light. In Jesus' name I pray. So you cannot favor somebody who is in darkness. I must see you. I must see you to favor you. I must see you to help you. It is time for your divine helpers to locate you. It is time for your divine helpers to see you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is time for your divine helpers to locate you and to see you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is time for your helpers to locate you, to see you, to favor you, to help you. In Jesus' name I pray. So, light attracts favor. When you carry the light of God, you attract men of value to your life. People that matter in your life. When you carry the light of God, you attract them. You attract people that matters in life. You attract favor when you carry the light of God. Hallelujah. It is time for you to carry the light in the name of Jesus. Lastly, uh, it reveals your enemies. When you carry the light of God, when light of God shines around you, your enemies are revealed. When you carry the light of God, your enemies are revealed. Because light will expose your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is an unfriendly friend in the form of an enemy. By the power in the name of Jesus. I expose them. By the light of God I expose them. In the mighty name of Jesus. I expose them. In the name of Jesus. I expose them. So light also reveals your enemies. Because wicked people dwell in darkness. They lack darkness. But the righteous and the faithful. The holy. The holy ones. They dwell in light. So let there be light. So light reveals your enemies. Some of the jobs you miss because somebody talked bad against you to the MD, to the HR. Yes, you might not believe it. Somebody talked against you, your enemy, but in the form of a friend. But when you carry the light of God, even when they talk against you, that light favors you. May you be the one to be favored by the light of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is time for you to carry the light of God. I need light. I'm teaching on I need light. It is time for